Welcome back, guys. Before the video gets started, I just wanted to say, please hit that subscribe button. We're a really small channel here, and we're continuing to grow on a daily basis, and every subscription means a lot to us. So please hit that subscribe button. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. What's up, Raider Nation? Silver and Black Attack coming again with another video. And we are finally here. We are just two days away from the long-awaited NFL draft. And all signs are pointing towards the Raiders are going to be looking to trade up and drafting a quarterback in the top 10. So right now, currently, we sit at pick 13, as all of you know. But... Today, news came out that the Raiders were aggressively trying to pursue the number two overall pick in a trade with the Washington Commanders. However, news has came out that the Raiders offer was inimpressive to the Commanders and everyone who's tried to trade up to number two, the Commanders have just not been impressed, which means that likely they're going to stick at number two and draft Jaden Daniels. There's been a big, you know, rumor that's been going around now for weeks that the Commanders are set on Jaden Daniels and the news came out that, oh, he didn't like the commanders. He didn't like the facility. He didn't like the situation they're in. He was not blown away, which led us to believe that the Raiders would possibly make a move. And sure enough, they did. They did try to make a move up to number two. However, you know, that's it's a two way street. So if the commanders weren't impressed, you know, that doesn't mean that we called it wrong. That just means that the commanders, you know, are going to need a lot more to even think about giving up the number two overall pick. God knows who their starting quarterback is going to be this year uh, if they were to trade down and get rid of, you know, the number two selection. You know, Telesco is showing us essentially that the Raiders want to be aggressive and they want to trade up. And if they're going to trade up from 13, it 100% means that we're going for a quarterback. If they trade up, you know, even into the top 10, that kind of just shows that, okay, they're looking for a quarterback because there's no other player, you know, in a position the Raiders need right now that won't be available at 13. If they want a corner, corner will be available at 13. If they want a tackle, a tackle will be available at 13. Maybe not Joe Alt, but someone else will be available. We talked in the mock and, you know, we've been hearing it all around that at 13, the Raiders are not likely to take a quarterback, which is what people are saying. But now that Telesco is showing that he really wants to trade up, that is really picking up the traction again that, okay, the Raiders are going to 100% draft a quarterback in this draft. And, you know, now the other side of this is, oh, Michael Penix Jr. You know, everyone is saying Michael Penix to the Raiders. And that's really picking up traction again. Mock drafts have us taking him at 13 and just staying pat at 13. And I believe that likely we would not trade up, you know, to take Michael Penix. If we trade up, you know, into the top five, top, I mean, not top 10, but top five, it would really be for Jaden Daniels would be the only, my only guess, you know, because of the whole AP Jaden Daniels ASU connection and just what a special player the Heisman winner is. Um but overall, Michael Penix Jr. at 13 would be a good look for us. I think, you know, going lefty would be, you know, a little different. But I think this draft is going to prove that, you know, we can, we, we're just a quarterback away from winning. We're just a quarterback away from making the playoffs. And, you know, okay, yeah, y'all are going to roast me in the comments. You know, everyone loves Aiden O'Connell, but I'm not a fan of Aiden O'Connell. I mean, he just cannot move. And everyone's going to say, oh, pocket passers usually win. Pocket passers win Super Bowls and stuff. I mean, the last time a pocket passer won a Super Bowl was, let's see, Matthew Stafford, okay, in 21. But even before that, you got to go all the way back to Tom Brady in 2018. And, you know, that whole style of game has changed now. 
You know, you need a mobile quarterback. We were getting comments the other day on the other video that we do need a mobile quarterback. Indeed, we need a mobile quarterback. And Michael Penix Jr. is not the most mobile guy, but he'll he's better than Aiden O'Connell in terms of that. And he'll be able to extend plays, get out of the pocket and, you know, make those throws downfield, which not saying Aiden O'Connell doesn't have an arm, but I think Michael Penix Jr. extends plays a lot better. Takeaways here are that Raiders are really getting aggressive. And if they're going to move up, like I said, it's only going to be for a quarterback. But what I would like to see here is I would like to see us stick at 13. And now that Denver at 12 does not need a quarterback, I would like to see us draft Michael Penix Jr. at 13 and try this whole experiment out and see if Michael Penix can be that guy for the Raiders. But Raider Nation, I really believe this draft is going to uh, define the future for the next, you know, five to 10 years. It's going to really determine if the Raiders are, you know, if they're serious essentially about getting back to that level quick. And yeah, please like, comment, share this video, hit that subscribe button for us. We really appreciate all the subs and we'll catch you in the next video.